Hi Aries, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to do your December 2019 reading. I'm using the Witch's Tarot this time. I just got this deck, so I'm breaking them in. I hope everything is good with you guys. I know there's been a lot of planet action lately. Um, so there's probably been a lot of ups and downs. Uh, but try and take it easy this month. It's a stressful month. Um, ooh. but hopefully there's a lot of good things coming around. Page of cup, cup, <laughs> comps. <laughs> Page of cups just jumped out for you. So this is um some really heavy emotional communication coming in. Someone needs to s speak how they feel. Like look at the size of that wave. You know. This is strong, all right? So let's see what's going on for you, Aries. Do, 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 do. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Eight of Cups in the past. Two of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Then in the present, we have the Ace of Swords, the Eight or Nine of Swords, excuse me, and the Five of Pentacles. And in the future we have the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the King of Swords. <laughs> Look at that. Hold on just a sec, someone's at the door. Sorry about that. So, this underlying energy of this Page of Cups, this, um, you know, there could be a lot of emotions expressed here based on the other cards too. So in your past, we have the Eight of, eight of Cups. This is some sort of dissatisfaction. Something's missing. And you feel like you're not really following your star path here if you stay with this, you know. It's not right for, me, for you. Not that the other person's bad or you're bad. It's just, you're just feeling it's not your right path. It's just something that's not right, okay. Um, also, you have the Two of Pentacles. This is juggling. This um, sometimes can be juggling people. It also can be juggling finances, borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, like having a hard time um, paying everything, you know, with what you have, perhaps. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles. This could be an Earth sign around you, Taurus, uh, Virgo, or um, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But her energy is about abundance, growth, um, sometimes healing, and um, trying to, um, because she's a pretty smart woman, right? She's the queen, so she's mature. And um, she has a handle on, you know, she's a survivor. That's one thing. But you're trying to make something out of just these two coins, and you're trying to, be abundant and and I think there's some healing too you're trying to do here at the same time. In your present, you have the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. So, you know, it's looking like you get some sort of communication message, you find out a truth, you get information. Um, and it, it, it makes you really distraught. It, it um, gives you sleepless nights. You're always thinking about it. It may only bother you at night, in fact. Like in the day, you're busy, you're working, you're doing what you got to do. And then when you stop and lay down or rest in front of the TV is when the mind starts going. And you start worrying about everything now because of some sort of news you got here. This news provides clarity, but it also is something that worries you, concerns you. And you're probably worried you're gonna be left out in the cold here. You're going to be, um, you know, 
not what you know sometimes it's a feeling of abandonment right you've just been left and and no concern for you no one's thinking about what how how is she how is he making out so this is what you're feeling i think it's what you're worried that's going to happen it may not necessarily happen but you're worried that it is this is what's concerning you is you're going to end up in this position all right but don't forget you know you got the queen of pentacles energy up here you're working on something so um in your future you have the nine of cups the queen of cups and the king of swords and i think that you know, remember I said there's probably been a lot of ups and downs, and it's definitely happening right here. You know, there's, and, and, and you know, look at that too in the Two of Pentacles, ups and downs and ups and downs here. And here's is where it's coming up, closer maybe to the end of the month in like three weeks. So the Nine of Pentacles, you know, she's happy. She's quite content. Um, this is emotional fulfillment. You're happy with but it, what you've been able to achieve. Um, this could be just happier in your life. Doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you're happy in love necessarily. You're happier in life. You're more content about how things are going at this time. Don't forget too, it's Christmas and it's a time of celebration. Everyone's coming together to celebrate and um, honor one another, you know. Um, and then there's the Queen of Cups. Now, this could be a water sign around you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, it also is emotional energy. It's about opening up, reaching out, being open with your emotions. Um, and, and, you know, it could be during this celebration time, right? Being more loving, more giving, more caring, understanding. Uh, if it's not a water sign around you, this is what this energy represents for you, Aries. But you could be meeting someone new at this gathering, this celebration, this happy time. You could be meeting someone that is very open and um you know happy and and it it might be quite the 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 thing you need right now there's the king of swords this could be air energy around you um gemini libra of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sorry. <laughs> and sometimes I think of the King of Swords, you know, he could be a lawyer. Um, he could be older. He He's really smart. He's quite decisive, strategic, you know, that sort of person. This also could be your energy right now. Like at this time, Aries, you you uh, uh, as a careful plan or you really think about things before what you know it's about um do they make sense um how will that play out you know that sort of thing and so Um, you know, I kind of wonder if this King of Swords, could be male or female, is the person that uh, you're having the, some sort of difficulties with here. You're thinking about walking away. Um, uh, you know, you could want them to be more open, more emotional, more expressive, reach out. You know, that's what you're hoping. And and if it is, they are going to because he's, you know, facing the queen. She's facing the nine. They're all facing the nine about celebrating, coming together, happiness, you know. Um, but don't forget the the nine is for a situation this is for a time 
to maintain this will take more work, okay? But there's an overflow of feeling at this time, and it's a bit rocky at first, but I think it levels out by the third week of December for you. So don't worry too much, guys. Like it does, just because you think it doesn't mean it's going to happen. Don't worry too much. You know, December is so stressful, and you just don't need this other stuff on top of that. So um, try and try and do something that brings you keep peace and calm. Perhaps just a suggestion. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free to subscribe and it helps me a lot. So also comment in down below. I love reading your comments and I read every single one of them. So um, anyway, take care and have a nice month. Thank you. Bye.